Just in to 7 News, new video of Nathan Dunlap, this imagery and a DVD given by his lawyers to Governor Hickenlooper today. They say the condemned killer had an undiagnosed bipolar disorder when he killed four people at an Aurora Chuck E. Cheese restaurant 20 years ago. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live. Now, Jacqueline, the lawyers say that condition means he shouldn't be executed. Yeah, Nathan Dunlap wrote a letter too, saying he does feel regret, sadness, and grief for what he did. He apologizes, and for the first time in almost 20 years, he speaks on camera, saying he's thinking about the victims' families. I do not want to cause the victims' families, Bobby Stevens, anybody any more pain that I've already caused. In this video, we hear from his friends, his sister, his attorneys. His legal team is arguing that he had undiagnosed bipolar disorder and he's received effective treatment in prison. Because of that, they are asking Governor Hickenlooper to grant clemency. It's been almost 19 years since the Chuck E. Cheese shootings where he shot five people, killing four former co-workers. The governor has said he has not yet made a decision about clemency, but he knows there is a sense of urgency. A judge last week set the execution date for the week of August 18th. We are watching the video and sorting through all of the petition documents right now, and we'll have more on this developing story tonight at 10. Live in the newsroom, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.